What's up everyone, Scott the Trout Hammer here and I've got another video for you guys teaching you guys how to clean and fillet a fish. So right here I've got a Chinook salmon. So I'm kind of glad I'm making this video off of a smaller salmon. This is actually the smallest salmon I've ever caught. It's just long enough to be considered a uh, an adult salmon that you have to tag. So you have to report it on your... Uh, harvest tag it's 25 inches so I gotta use two cutting boards here but it'll be a lot easier to clean with a uh, with a smaller fish so again things you're going to need you're going to need a sink uh, it helps also with salmon because they're a larger fish to have a sink that has a hose that you can remove to sort of reach around different areas of the fish you're going to need something to deposit the remains you're gonna need obviously your cutting boards uh, you're going to need a fillet knife I've got my Kershaw fillet knife here uh, again, this is a knife I keep sharp enough to shave with for filleting. Uh, real quick tip also with, uh, real quick tip also with a knife is if you want to get it sharp enough to, uh, fillet a fish, you really don't need to, you know, go over and over and over and over again on one of these sharpening sticks. I was a chef for a number of years. I can tell you exactly how to do this. So there are actually microscopic teeth on the actual blade of any knife and all this does is realign those teeth so you just need to gently two or three times on each side actually does the trick you don't need to you know go until you wear out the knife like a lot of people think you just need to do two or three times on that so that's that should be a tip for you guys on how to sharpen a knife and obviously you're going to need something to deposit the cleaned fish with i've got a just a baking tray over here something big enough to hold the fish all right, so uh, salmon and trout actually have an extremely similar anatomy. I mean, the the type of fish is called a salmonoid because you know they're all they're all based on this. Trout are just a lot smaller, uh, slightly different biology version of a salmon, and you know usually mostly farmery. So beginning cleaning a salmon is really similar to cleaning a trout. So you want to go under this fin here, and begin in the anus of the fish and go down the abdominal cavity being careful not to puncture the intestines this is the hardest part here of the abdominal cavity of the salmon once you get once you get past those fins it's pretty easy but again do not go too deep into the fish because you don't want to puncture the intestines especially the gallbladder because that will taint the meat Now, obviously, this was a male fish, easy to identify that when I caught it, so I'm not expecting to find any row in here. But you want to gently pull out the entrails of the fish. Okay, so once you've got all the entrails out, then you want to take the fish over to the sink and rinse out the abdominal cavity. Again, this is where having that hose is going to be handy. Okay, got the fish all rinsed off. Now from here, what you want to do is find the gill plate. You can feel when you press into the side of the fish's head where the gill plate ends. That's that bony part right behind the pectoral fin. Find that part and angle your knife toward the head of the fish as you go in toward that gill plate and go all the way through just like that all the way through the head then go on the other side and line up your cut the same way sort of feel where you made that cut get to the gill plate all the way through so it should look like that at the top just coming to a point so the next step is to go back to that first cut, go down to the spine of the fish, and then turn the knife in and go along the spine of the fish. Right at the top, there's a lot of meat on the top of these fish. A lot of people waste a lot of meat on a salmon when they clean it because they don't get that meat that's on top of the fish's body. Once you get to about here, 
where you can go back through to where the anal cavity would have been. That's what you do. Again, using the, using the spine as a guide all the way down to the tail of the fish. There you go. And go back into here and uh, find the spine of the fish again. And this time, go toward the head of the fish using the spine as your guide. And you're going to cut through a lot of pin bones in this area. It's totally fine. And then here is the kind of tricky part. It's a lot easier to do on this side if you're right-handed because you're going to move the knife that way anyway. But feel where the ribs are and use the ribs as a guide and just gently run your fillet knife down the rib cage and just slowly separate the meat from the ribs. And you should get to a point where it's just the very tips of the ribs, not really a lot holding on the meat there. So you could, you could just pull the fillet off from those ribs. All right, and this was a male salmon. So I was kind of anticipating the meat to be a lot lighter in color because they're not feeding up to spawn eggs like the females do. That's one of the ways the females get that deep red color is because they're really fatty fish. These fish are, the males are going to be a lot leaner. I sort of expected this. That's why the color sort of looks this way. But from here, get the whole fillet over so you can remove that, remove that fin down there. And then here also is your, your opportunity, if you feel any ribs that stayed in the fish, sort of find where those ribs begin and just push the tip of the knife against the rib like that to lift it up. Pick it up with your finger, and then just gently slide the knife down that rib bone. I think we've got another rib here. Yes, I do. All right, there we go. Now here is the fun part, at least it's fun to me, is uh, if you want to remove the skin of the salmon, I know a lot of people like to eat the skin of a salmon. I, in particular, don't. So what I do, and if you wanted to leave the skin on, all you have to do is uh, use a descaler to take the scales off. Then there you go. You can cut the cut this fish up into steaks as you see fit, whatever size you want. But if you want to remove the skin of the fish. Again, that's what I do. That's how I like my salmon. Is you want to, at the tail, find a real soft spot that you can go between the meat and the fat at the tail. And you don't want to cut through the skin here. All you want to do is create a flap of skin that you can grab onto. It's going to look like that once you make your cut. And just like I said with uh, cleaning crappie, it's not so much about uh, moving the knife down the fillet as much as it is uh, moving the skin backwards, sort of holding the knife in position at an angle, slight at a slight angle, so it'll continue to separate skin from meat. And during that time, you're going to you're going to slightly saw your fillet knife back and forth, so it's going to look like this as you go to remove the skin from your fillet. See, I'm sort of warming it side to side. I'm not really cutting it with the knife. So. There you go, a little bit, little bit of meat, like paper thin amount of meat. Not really worried about that. I see a few more bones I want to remove here before I 
cut this up into steaks. All right, nice big meaty fillet for the size of fish I caught. Honestly, kind of surprised by that. So I'm gonna flip this over and trim off that little bit of skin. And then from here, just decide how big you want your fillets to be. You know, I'm gonna do about six ounce fillets. And you know, years of years of being a butcher or having you know butcher skills with meat have taught me about the size of an six ounce fillet for salmon. So going about here, all the way through, like so. There you go, got about five steaks right here. It'll be about the same on each side. Or if you guys want, I mean, this is, this is something I would definitely recommend if you've got it, leave the whole fillet as it is and smoke it. Use some pecan wood. That'll make this nice and delicious. And you'll rinse off every fillet as well. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, hope you guys found this video educational and helpful. If you guys did, please like this video. Leave any uh, questions and observations you guys have in the comments below. Let me know what you guys thought. If there's any tips you guys want to add to that, I'd be happy to allow you to add them to the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, tips up, tight lines, have fun fishing.